Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big. It doesn't matter who you're betting on or what sport you're betting on. We've got you covered. Before we get into some MLB action for June 3rd, I want to invite you to join, and you will have access to the VIP club section here. And you see across the top here all the tabs with a bunch of tools to help you make your picks. Okay, so the MLB season is two months in, and teams are really starting to separate themselves from the pack. Uh, the Phillies, in particular, the Orioles, the Yankees, the Dodgers, those teams are, are, are presenting themselves as the teams to beat so far a third of the way into the season. Okay, so let's take a look at some of these games. We got Milwaukee at Philadelphia. The Brewers come in average up. Winners are four out of the last six. Despite uh, just a two and four record over the last six for the Phillies and ice cold up, they have the best record yet in the league. The score prediction is for Milwaukee eight, Philadelphia four, but the confidence in that prediction is rather low at 41%. Um, if you look at the over under, uh, Milwaukee involved in games over the line in four out of the last six, and Philadelphia in three out of the last six. Let's take a look here at the power ranks indicator because of the recent uh, song the Phillies dipped way down and they are coming back up to plus eight while Milwaukee has skyrocketed up to plus 26. Uh, the Phillies are 22 and, and eight at home so they have an excellent home record but the, the Brewers are excellent on the road at 11 and 13. Head to head the teams have not yet met this season so we don't really need to take a look at that one at the moment. Uh, the stability factor here is a big difference between the teams right now. Philadelphia is very consistent, plus 16, mostly an upward trend, a few ups and downs along the way. But when you look at Milwaukee, they are very inconsistent. Uh, the highest they have been all year in this uh, category is plus one, and they are currently at uh, minus two. So in the end, though, I'd like the Phillies to get back on track at home, but I'm going to pass on the over-under. Uh, now we've got... Um, Okay, so if we take a look at this one, New York and Washington in the NL East, you see New York is dead status. They are just two and four over the last six, and Washington is four and two over the last six and average up. If you take a look at this total streak, uh, the teams have been involved in games over the line in, let's see, well, trending in over the line. Yeah, here we go. In how many? Oh, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven out of the last uh, 12 games have been involved over the line, and Washington is picked by a 9-4 to four, uh, margin of victory with only 52% confidence. So um, if you look at the power ranks, you can see the up and downward trend. You see this line here going upward from plus 8 up to plus 22 for Washington. And New York was down at the bottom at 0, and they've climbed up to plus 9 after playing, after getting that win, one win the other day. Um, if you look at head-to-head, -head, the teams have not yet met this season, so we can't really take that into consideration. But if you look at the stability factor, um, neither team has been particularly consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status, although Washington has been a little bit more consistent um, as of late than the Mets have been. So in the end, what we're going to consider here, well, the Nationals are better on the road than the Mets are at home. So if we take that into consideration, I'm going to take Washington by two runs in a game under the line. Okay, so let's see. The next one we want to look at is Baltimore and Toronto in the AL East. Both teams are burning hot at the moment. Despite the fact that Toronto is down in the standings, they have won the last three. Uh, that's why they're burning hot at the moment, three and three over the last six. Baltimore second in, in the division, five and one over their last six. If you look at the total streak, Baltimore involved over the line in five out of the last six, and Toronto in three out of the last six. The score prediction is a tight one for Baltimore, winning by a five to four margin. Confidence is uh, not bad at 67%. If we take a look here at the um, power ranks indicator, Baltimore is at plus 27. And Toronto has skyrocketed from plus 3 up to plus 20 just over the last couple of days because of their winning streak. And head-to-head -head matchups, both teams that were, both games that were played earlier this season were by a 3-2 score. We see in Baltimore, each team winning one game. Take a look at the stability. Factor. I always like to look at this. You see, uh, recently, you see a much more uh, consistent and stable Baltimore team. As earlier in the season, they were not as consistent. Uh, and Toronto has been up and down as far as that consistency factor goes. In the end, I like Baltimore. I like it in a lower scoring game. And Baltimore by a similar margin as the other two contests. Um, I'm going to take a look here then at St. Louis and Houston. 
Here's two teams heading in opposite directions. The Cardinals burning hot winners of five out of their last six. Houston is ice cold down just two and four over their last six and 25 and 32 on the season. If you take a look at the over under, these games have been almost all under. Look at this. In the last 12 games between the two teams, only two of them have been over the line. And the score prediction has St. Louis by a two run margin, six to four, but the confidence in the prediction is rather low, just a little more than a toss of a coin at 56%. On the power ranks indicator, you can see St. Louis on up and downward trend. They're now at plus 23, and Houston dipped down to plus 3, and they're back on track up to plus 10. Um, the interesting thing about this matchup is the teams have identical records as far as, like, um, home and road. What I mean is um, the Cardinals are 14-15 on the road, and that's the same identical record as Houston is at home. Uh, just something a little bit interesting. Um, and I like the Cardinals to continue their hot streak. And I'm going to take this game under the line. we got San Diego and the LA Angels. San Diego comes in average down 3-3 three and three over their last six. And the Angels are ice cold down just 1-5 and five over their last six and last in the AL West. Um, if you take a look at the over-under, it's been 6 over and 5 under. So pretty even. As far as that goes, over the last uh, 11 games between the two teams combined, the score prediction is for a blowout for San Diego, 9-2. to two, And you see this confidence in the prediction at 65%. Um, let's see. The Angels are just dreadful at home, 7-21. and 21. The Padres have an X on the road, on the road 17-10. and 10. You see where this is heading, I believe. Um, San Diego, both teams have dipped. San Diego was 28. Now they're at plus 12 in the power ranks. And the Angels have dropped from 13 down to 1. Volatility. Uh, neither team has been very consistent. Actually, extremely inconsistent. If you look at this, the Angels were as high as plus 3. They are now plus 1. And uh, the Padres were as high as plus 3. And they are 0. So anyway, in the end, I like this to be a Padres win pretty easily. And I'm going to take this one over the line. Okay, so there you have it. Those are the games for MLB for June the 3rd. Happy betting and see you next time.